series in standard. At least a few of them make this list as the tempo control style archetype gets a representative in standard that uses more than just blue mana. Just in time for the RCQ grind, let's take a look at blue black fa- I mean Jeskai black- Nah, screw it. Esper Mentor. Tempo decks try to get advantages using low mana cost card draw, interaction, and removal to take over the pace of the game, closing it out with efficient, but not necessarily small, evasive threats. Delver of Secrets is synonymous with this archetype, but this version of the deck forgoes the flyer in favor of a go-wide approach with Monastery Mentor. Just play out your 1 mana cards, get a 1-1 Monk with Prowess. Did I mention that Monk will grow for every other low mana cost spell you play? And did I forget to mention that you just keep making more? Helping the Mentor reach the skies, as well as lowering the cost of some of our more quote-unquote expensive spells, is Haughty Jin, a rightful win condition in its own ways. The Cheeky Jin pairs perfectly with spells, turning Charter Course into a 1 mana draw 2, and Bitter Triumph into a 1 mana removal spell I hope we never see actually printed. The real shine to this deck is the mana curve, as none of your creatures are above the 3 mana point, and just about all your spells main deck are 2 mana or less. This allows you to run 20 total lands, which is one of the lowest counts in standard. The low cost also enables the play of a powerful 6 card unearth package in the form of helping hands and recommission. Even if your threats get removed early on, your graveyard becomes a resource to reanimate your pint-sized powerhouses on the cheap. The fairies in the deck add to that graveyard versatility as Halo Forager looks the most like Snapcaster Mage you could possibly get in this package, casting mostly one mana spells as it enters. Picklock Prankster's adventure side, Free the Fae, allows you to get the correct tool for the job to keep the pressure on, while your deck can take advantage of the cards hitting the graveyard. Sideboard goes up in interaction, adding discard, counter magic, and some extra pressure with ledger shredders. You even get to play temporary lockdown as the only real things it hits from your side are monk tokens and picklock pranksters, giving this deck an edge other tempo decks usually don't get to have. As you're the one controlling the pace of the game, you're going to have a good time against opposing control decks and big mana decks that need time to set up their resources. Due to your low mana plan, you can go underneath them and disrupt their ability to ever play the game. This does mean that your deck can be weaker to the grindy decks like Rakdos and Golgari midrange, as your spells aren't suited for one-for-one -one trades and want to be far enough ahead before they slam down Shieldred and company. If you're looking for more deck techs, make sure to subscribe.